love me stories about amazing jungle and beautiful animals that live there. But can anybody show me where I can meet all of them? Our planet Earth. And we're going to talk about what's left on this planet Earth. The Earth's temperature is rising and global warming has become perhaps the most complicated issue that we are facing. An increase in global temperature will cause sea levels to rise. The continuing retreat of glaciers, permafrost and sea ice is expected with warming being strongest in the Arctic. Other likely effects include changes in rainfall patterns and increased intensity and frequency of extreme weather. On other parts of the world, the land dries up. It all depends on us to protect what's left. If we still want the future, we have to preserve the remains. conservation is one of the efforts. It's the ecological kingdom. Located at the corner of Indonesia, at the southern tip of Sumatra Island, between Tampang Bay and Belimbing Cape, Lampung, the area is part of South Bukit Barisan National Park. Tumbling also plays a significant role to break the mixture between warm seawater of the Pacific Ocean and cold seawater of the Indian Ocean. We can't imagine if this place doesn't exist. Tumbling Wildlife Nature Conservation Area, about 45,000 hectares, including the Marine Nature Reserve. Tumbling is covered by several forest types, including tropical lowland forest, beech forest and mangrove forest. The forest canopy is dominated by karooing trees. The sea and seashores are amazing, perfect combination of sands, rocks, waves, coral reefs and marine organisms.
there are many rivers flowing in tumbling, ensuring a fertile ground for vegetation. Manjukurt Lake is one of the icons of tumbling. This 25 hectare lake is located in the southeast. Another large lake is Si Lamang. This 50 hectare lake is covered by aquatic vegetation, dominated by Nipa fruticans and Scrupine pandanus tectorius. Surrounded by breathtaking nature, there are excellent guest houses and cottages available in Tumbling. All of the buildings are non-permanent and environmentally friendly. Using the facilities available there, we can also take a jungle trek and night safari. We can explore the ocean by taking a boat to reach Tumbling by sea. Or we can travel by private helicopters or small aircraft and land on a 1.5 kilometer airstrip. Down at the Cape, there's an old lighthouse which was built in 1879 and survived Krakatau's eruption in 1883. Amazingly, although it's more than a century old, the lighthouse still works properly. Most of the people in Tumbling are farmers. Here, mostly working on rice fields or growing coffee. While the sea is important for transportation and a source of income as well. It takes good planning to protect the whole area of tumbling. Well-trained and heavily equipped security guards are placed in several guard posts. Tumbling consists of indigenous endemic flora which still accommodates several rare flora species. It offers an extraordinary scenery, and among the hard challenges, tumbling persistently give their best efforts to conserve this nature heritage. We believe in the place where it's a home to animals and plants, then their rights to live becomes the ultimate priority. Sumatran tiger, numbering fewer than 400 individuals in the wild, is found exclusively on the Indonesian island of Sumatra, the last stronghold for tigers in Indonesia. Tumbling provides a good habitat for the Sumatran tiger, Pantera tigris sumatri. Up to this moment, tumbling wildlife nature conservation as one of Artagraha Paduli's subsidiaries 
has translocated six Sumatran tigers from various areas in Sumatra to save them from the conflict with humans after they lose their own habitat. Their existence can be monitored through GPS collar and numbers of hidden camera traps. Soon, other Sumatran tigers are waiting the right time to be released back to nature. What we have seen here is just a small effort to save the Earth. But surely, no one can do this by themselves. We have to do it together for the next generation. Support tumbling wildlife nature conservation and release the tiger back to nature.